Shabbat Shalom. Why are women looked down upon or excluded? In Yitro, it's mentioned that Zipporah and her children see Moses for the first time after he sees Pharaoh. Nothing is mentioned at all about how she feels. Is she nervous, scared, happy, or excited? In my imagination of the scene, I believe she had all these emotions. Zipporah was probably so excited that she was, he was back, but at the same time, being nervous and scared, she probably wanted to run to him, but held back due to her nervousness and being a little scared about how others reacted. There are a number of times in Yitro where there's a call for leadership roles where women are not included. In that time period, women were expected to stay at home and take care of their children. Lost my place, excuse me. <laughs> uh, they were consulted for advice even though there were a few times it mentions that they were. I was listening to the radio a while back uh, and it mentioned Afghanistan. Women were stopped from going to school for higher education or going to work. They're supposed to be invisible. It's unfortunate, but it still happens today. Also, in Iran, women are arrested for protesting their dress code. Many women are killed for trying to stand up for their rights. It is unthinkable this happens in today's world. Again, women are supposed to be invisible. They aren't to have any kind of opinion. It's a man's world. Men have physical strength and wealth. They have the wealth to pass on and pass around. They have, to, they have the ability to stand in the king's palace, or in today's world, the White House. I use that example because I believe there are still many people who feel only men should be the president. Why, is it feeling, why are feelings not included in the Bible? Why does it seem wrong to show any emotion? Is that weak? I chose this topic in the Parsha because I felt as a child in my young adult years, I wasn't allowed to show emotions like, like anger. I wasn't taught how to stand up to someone who bullied me at school or being laughed at when I raised my hand in class to answer a question, excuse me. As a result of that, I now have trouble taking on leadership roles in my life. I was then, and even now, having trouble taking on anything that would make me tell others what to do. The women who wrote their take on Parsha Yitro from the women's Torah commentary, and the women, the women are involved in given, excuse me, the, both men and women are involved in give and take of the Ten Commandments. Men of that day believed only men can take on leadership roles. I'm happy to say that in our wonderful country there has been much progress for women, although we still have a ways to go. I hope for future generations for my granddaughters, that they will have less of a fight to take charge. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. <laughs>